As traditional karate underwent its early development, its popularity continued to grow. At the same time, other punching and kicking sports were also created as a mental and physical art. Traditional karate is basically composed of punching techniques, striking techniques, smashing techniques, kicking techniques, blocking techniques, and the related techniques used to execute these, such as the breaking of an opponent's balance. Traditional karate's offensive techniques require enough impact force to deliver the single finishing blow needed to stop the opponent. To generate this powerful impact force, traditional karate starts with an anchored position on the floor and proceeds to the stomach hip level and then continues as a single powerful motion, either to the arm and hand to deliver the punch or to the leg and foot to kick. For example, the counterpunch known as Gyakuzuki starts with the athlete anchored squarely on the floor. Leg action causes the hips to rotate. By so doing, the body's rotation power is transmitted upward from the hips through the chest, arm, and finally to the fist that delivers the punch. The simultaneous use of the body's shoulder and elbow motion as part of this unified body rotation results in increased speed and body momentum. When the fist reaches the target, the body momentum must have marshaled together so much of the body's total power that the result is a single, massive explosion of this body power at the split second the punch is delivered. So exacting is this principle that the finishing blow requires an impact force of 150 to 180 kilogram weight delivered in one one hundredth of a second at the point of contact. To create the impact force required, the punch must be a total body contraction. It is this sharp contraction that allows the focused concentration of body power in a single split second. This contraction permits the retention of physical balance as the punch is delivered. Once balance is disrupted, the value of the body momentum is destroyed. Understanding this, one can see the impossibility of delivering a finishing blow when it is a reflex snapback action without body contraction or a punch delivered from a weak stance. The impact force is not enough. Kicking techniques, unlike punching, cannot use body contraction force. Therefore, kicking requires the fullest use of the body momentum, coupled with the sharp snap motion of the leg, to create even greater speed. For example, the front kick, known as the Mayagiri, starts with the athlete using the leg in a pendulum action to create momentum. This momentum is transmitted from the hip joint through the leg and finally to the ball of the foot upon delivery of the kick. The sharp snapback motion of the leg that comes after the delivery of the kick cuts down on the contact time, maximizing the impact force. Therefore, those kicking techniques that use only the leg and no body momentum, or swinging kicks delivered without the sharp snapback motion, or sharp snapback motions that are delivered before full extension will all result in insufficient impact force. Clearly, the principle of impact force resulting in the finishing blow is the basis of the traditional karate. At competition time, it is these finishing blow techniques that are recognized as point scoring.